What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Black Prion. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm currently at Dragon Con, so if I'm a little slow to getting to the responses of this video, that is why this video is a scheduled upload, not something I just got done recording and uploading on my own leisure. But with that being said, without further ado, let's talk about Destiny 2 Electric Boogaloo. Now, the reason why I call it that is because this game, or this beta, this demonstration, so to speak, of Destiny 2 does nothing in terms of alleviating any of the problems or issues that were present in the first game. So anybody who played the first game was kind of disgruntled and was hoping to see more greener pastures, bigger and better things in this future installment, this demonstration, this beta, did nothing that would teach you or showcase or even hint at any of that coming to fruition. Now that being said, was the game bad? Well, let me put it to you this way. Destiny 2 doesn't feel like a sequel so far. It feels like it's just Destiny Definitive Edition. There, I said it. That's right. Boomy! That's right. Boomy! It's fine. It feels like it's Destiny 1.5. It finally seems as though Destiny decided, let's not be limited, limited by having a 360 version. Let's push on forward. Let's not even entertain the thought of the previous generation. Let's officially dip our toes into the next generation. And bada boom, bada bing. Destiny 2 rolls out. And look, there's not that much to do in the beta obviously. There's one strike mission, which is fun. However, we run into a certain problem, and I understand this is something that'll probably be fixed. This is probably why they had a beta, just to see what would be going on with this. So there's, on the first strike, or I should say only strike, really, that really matters, is there's a section where there's a drill. Now, inevitably, if you're playing with randoms, you are going to end up having somebody getting hit with one of those saw blades. Now, with the way the respawn system works, or the revive system works in Destiny, is you go up to your player, you press X, or you press whatever button that you have it mapped to, and it takes a little bit of time for the reticle to go all the way around, and then they have, once it completes, they have a get-up animation before they're able to control their character. Now, at the rate that these drills are doing their 360 around, if someone gets killed by a drill, don't even bother reviving them. Don't even bother doing it, because by the time you realize, oh, snap, they're dead, you run up there, you start reviving them. By the time they get up, they have so little time to move. If they do not move the split second, and I mean like almost just to the fucking frame that they are able to move, they're dying. It's over. They're getting hit again. And this cycle can go on for 10 to 15 minutes before you just say, you know what? You do you, baby. You just wait for the drill to go by you. And then you respawn yourself when your respawn timer shows up. Because it, because. It, it, it really is a hot gobbledygook mess when you have two players playing hot potato with somebody's dead body. It's not it's not a good look in any way, shape, or form. However, I am kind of let down that there's no real new enemies. Like, I was expecting the Cabal to be like, oh, shit, man, we got all this crazy shit now. We got all these upgrades and all that. And, like, none of that. Like, there was nothing that was new brought to the table outside of, like, those weird wolf-looking enemies. Like, they look like wolf versions of Zoids, if anybody remembers that from the 90s. But at the end of the day, there was nothing that really <laughs> wet my whistle, made me want to lather my lips and get ready to go right into this game and take the deep plunge. So I figured, all right, I understand it's one strike. They're not going to be able to just throw their load at us at the very beginning before the game's even out. All right, cool. That did nothing to rope me in, but it honestly just feels like Destiny 1 with a new coat of paint. So I decided I would try my hand at multiplayer. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys see me stream. I was pretty decent, pretty solid at Destiny's multiplayer. I had a good feel and knowing what was going on. And then we jump into Destiny 2. I'm thinking, all right, this is fine. Now, for those of you who don't know how I play my FPSs on PC, it is a combination of this and this right here. Aim, skill buttons over here on the side, movement, jump, and ult. I know some of y'all are going to be like, wait, dude, what, what are you? You type of some type of sci-fi channel villain? Like, what type of fucking controller scheme is that? Don't worry, I get it. If you don't believe me, I'll stream some overwatch watch, and I will showcase that that's exactly how I play the game, and that's how I get my work done, and things of that nature, blah, blah, blah. But that we're not here to talk about my controller scheme, or my Mongolian style, as some people have dubbed it over the internet. We're here to talk about the fact that that is impossible to do in Destiny 2. So Destiny 2, I honestly think that you should definitely look into allowing that to be a play style, allowing that to be something in the controller scheme, because if you move your mouse, this is locked out for about a half to a whole second. If you move any of these buttons, then your mouse's control is locked out for about a half to the same amount of time frame. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because it's something that I really wanted to do. 
So I've been playing with the controller because I hate keyboard. I do. I can't stuck and stand was to move. I fucking hate it. But that being said, I tried using my controller and I was like, man, I'm going to be at such a disadvantage when it comes to my aim. This is really going to suck. And you're not because the level of aim assist in this beta is fucking insane. Let's say I'm aiming at you, but my gun goes over here. Don't worry. Activision says, oh, no, baby. Right there. Oh, no, baby. Right there. Oh, oh wait, wait. Right there. Hey, baby. No, mm, right here. Oh, no. Bring it back. Like, the aim assist is so strong. You know how most people say they can't feel aim assist? And they have to really be looking for it to notice it? In my head, I'm like, fuck. I missed that shot, but my gun went. Just target. Reticle right there at throat level. When the recoil comes up, I get a couple of headshots. And then I thought, okay, this is probably something that's going to be PvE exclusive. No, baby. Even on PvP, I'm feeling this aim assist pull to some body shots. Now, that being said, I'm sure we can all get over that. I'm sure this is just the beta. I'm sure they're trying to make people feel as though they're better than they actually are in terms of aim and hit consistency, which is going to draw other players in, giving them that false sense of confidence and security. I get that. But the big problem for me is the fucking hand cannon. Like... You had a whole entire game, Destiny 1, to balance out these weapons. Do these weapons actually make sense? Do they correspond with balanced gameplay? Or is it fast, fluid, and fun? Yet this hand cannon... If you lose a fight with the hand cannon in this beta, in a 1v1, and you lost to someone who had, like, something that wasn't a hand cannon, any gun, assault rifle, shotgun, anything, then then you might as well just, just say, you know what, I'm going to cancel my pre-order. I'm going to go over here and play Barbie's Horse Adventure because that's the only game I'm qualified to play. Because apparently, that thing kills me in like two or three shots. And it doesn't have the slowest fire rate, okay? And I'm talking about body shots. I'm not even talking about getting shot in the head. And with the aim assist, it's a pretty shit experience. So I decided to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to bust out my hand cannon. And it was just mopping up babies in a barrel. The game's not fun. The skill ceiling went from here to me, 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 off the fucking grid. So as far as Destiny 2 is concerned, this beta did nothing but want to deter me from even trying to even look into purchasing this in the game. Because, like I said, Destiny 1 was in a spot where I didn't really care for it that much, but it was okay. I wanted to see more, and if it gives me more, I might come back to the series. Because it wasn't a bad game. It was just a game that didn't do the things that I thought a game should do. You know, like having an actual story that I have to go on the online Wikipedia fucking sources for to understand what the fuck is going down on a base level in terms of the politics and the backstory of various characters, enemies, groups, camps, and species, and trying to entice myself and involve myself and immerse myself into the lore. I have to go to a third-party site. Rather than you telling me what's in the game, leaving the fucking disc or the DLC or the story modes, gigantic hollow fucking cosms of just nothingness with just some FPS elements, I'm looking for more. Destiny 2, I thought we were getting more. I saw some of your trailers. And I'm like, oh man, looks like they're trying to give us a personality, trying to actually invoke some emotion from these characters. All right, maybe we're going to get an actual legitimate story mode that's going to fill in a lot of these blanks. All right, I'm down. And I understand this is a beta, but so far all I'm seeing is more of the same. So what I'm saying to you is, if you love Destiny 1, you're going to give this beta a standing fucking ovation. If you've never played Destiny, I'm warning you now, the story mode has a good chance of being completely lackluster. But if you like the PvE and the PvP that you played, you might like this beta. But if you're someone who played Destiny 1 and wasn't a fan of Destiny 1... This beta ain't doing shit for you. Pack it up. Go play Street Fighter V. Yes, Street Fighter V may be a broken sack of shit, but at least it's consistent, and at least you know what you're getting out of it. I've been your boy Black Prion, and I'm out. Peace.